Davis has now been arrested after police say she crashed her car into a building thinking it was a Jewish school. Police say the woman told them that she did it on purpose after seeing an Israel school sign on the door. She also reportedly made references to, quote, her people back in Palestine. Shalom, everyone. If you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew Rose Jericho coming at you with some judgment news. All oh, praises to the Almighty, creator of all things, and the master of the day of judgment, the most magical one, our Father. And to our most beautiful mother, Marihala, the Holy Spirit, much love, honor, and respect, mother. We ask you for wisdom in this judgment news. To all my brothers and my sisters out there of the Star Siege United. Allies and friends, I send you infinite love and light, and I receive yours. Today, we're going to be talking about the incident that happened over there at our Israelite school, you know, where the woman mistakenly uh, thought that she was uh, attacking a Jewish school because of their Star of David that they have out front. And in this tragedy, no one got hurt. All praises to the Most High. He kept them all protected. But this is a children's school. And even though they were attacked, they were the victims of this attack. Um, They were slandered and they were uh, libeled against. Very damaging and dangerous libels and, and slanders that we have uncovered. So we've uncovered some articles where um, these slanders are coming from. They're very dangerous at the time of this war, by the way. And I know you have great concerns because people think that you're a Jewish school. Let's listen to what our brother has to say. Vote people back in Palestine. So that's a common misconception that we are affiliated with them in any type of way, that our holy sh- signet, that our holy shield, the shield of, da- of King David, that represents Christ our King, which is associated with the Israeli or the Jewish population, which we have no affiliation with. School of UPK says it's been targeted three times since October. Since the war started in the Middle East, since October 7th, um, and one of them has been defacing our signs and insignias, and now it is it is becoming more rampant. That's why we wanted to reach out to the Palestinian community and let them know to not uh, point any hostilities to this direction. Okay, so we are living in the book of Revelation right now, and the whole world know it. After last summer, the judgments that hit this earth, everybody know we're in the days of judgment. We are living in the book of Revelation. In Revelation 2, 9, what happened to you in this incident, you were chosen for this particular verse. It is it's a perfect example of what's happening and what has been happening. Okay, let me read it. I know your tribulation and your poverty, but you are rich and The slander of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan. Now, the the woman that hit your school, she should have known better, you know, because our people always had to do this. And we've always had to do what you're doing. You bought a house and you reconfigured and constructed it for a school because you don't have the funding that the Jewish schools had and sold for the Palestinians out there, our pro-Palestinians. If you see a facility like this, just know that it's not the white imposters that call themselves Jews. This. And I admire y'all so much. Hey, I, I admire you so much and I salute you for becoming sovereign citizens. I would, I desire to become a sovereign citizen, 
but I'm old and I don't know all of that legal beagle red tape and stuff so I just did it in the spirit but congratulations for doing it in this 3D okay and you are being slandered for that in a very very dangerous way now the lady she hit you as a mistake her target uh, she thought you were a Jewish school, so, it, you know, that was accidental. But it wasn't accidental with the Most High because he wanted you to know that they put a target on you. Don't worry about it. You're very protected. Okay, you're very, very protected. That's why no one got hurt in this incident. But the Most High wants you to know and all of our brothers and sisters that are sovereign citizens and Hebrew Israelites to know what's going on behind the back. Now, if you look at my last five videos, I have shown so many things about the ADL, you know, and all of their slander against our people. Uh, the Anti-Defamation League is the champions of defamation and it's being exposed, okay? So now what we do when these things happen to us we go to a place called the courts of the most high i'm going to give you a tour of it because i'm going to take you to a place on this earth that is the highest court in this universe that i have discovered okay so i'm going to show you a place that has been top secret where the most high Mark this earth for judgment. He gave me this gift because we're at the time of the Great Reset. But some things he just held back. It wasn't in prophecy. I can't tell y'all that I'm in prophecy anywhere. Yeah, but what he's shown me is definitely, definitely magical. Okay, so this is our big brother Messiah. This is his image. This is the largest megalith on this earth. You see his fro and his beard, and he has a big black feather in his crown, and he has a fire nato and blast coming out of his mouth. This is our big brother Messiah, the king and the god of this earth. And right above his head, Oh, by the way, from the from the top of his feather to the bottom of his beard is 3,000 feet. So we're talking about 11 city blocks, okay? Let me get up a little close before we move on. See, he has this star alignment on his cheek. Yeah, that's a star alignment, so that's a time stamp right there. I found that last June a matchup, a matchup to the star alignment. And right above his head, the most high stamped his left hand to judgment. And this is a 400 foot megalith from the tip of his finger to the bottom of his wrist. And so the most high stamped this earth for judgment. And uh, it's been a very magical journey. So this is the most holy court in the universe right here. And um, we were invited and we have been doing some damage on the enemy in these most holy courts. When they go against us like they went against you all. Okay, so now let me go back. I had to do a new foot. Uh, I had to go back and do some better footage because I really wanted you guys to see these images. It's a lot more in this area, you know. It was a lot more magical things in this area. Yeah, but this is where the Most High marked this earth for judgment. Right off the now, I'm a backup, so. Uh, Google Earth changed a lot, so you guys excuse all of this extra stuff on my screen. Okay, so you have the Messiah Megalith here. And they used to have the coordinates at the bottom of their screen, so they no longer have that. But you see, right across from the Megalith is Kerma. 
And we okay? It's right off the Nile. Okay. So I'm going to go back. But first, I want to introduce you also to the Archangel Uriel. This is the Guardian of Eden, and he manifested his power over three continents. You might have seen him all the time, but not recognized who he was. It's the Archangel Uriel. He even has a tear coming from his eye. Now coming from his face, you see he has long white hair. He's very black, just like our Messiah. This is his right wing. This is his left wing. And he's wearing a beautiful cape with a fiery sword in front of him. See his cape? He even has a button, a badge of honor on his collar, buttons on his cape. And his cape swings all the way back into Asia. Okay. And... <clears throat> he manifested all the way down to his toes over three continents and this is the archangel I work with so I know all of this sounds strange as hell but bear with me okay this is 5D stuff we're connected from this 3D to the 5D and so as we go through these videos um we're putting in our evidence in the courts, in the highest courts in the universe. And the Most High has responded to us. We have a record of victories, okay? So, uh, we're going to take your case there to the courts of the Most High at the end of this video. Now we need to pre present our evidence that we have. Um, in the courts of the Most High. So as I'm doing these videos, it's like we're mirroring what's happening in judgment. We know that the Most High is omniscient, but he's chosen Star Seed United <clears throat> and the Hebrew Rose of Jericho to mirror it. We have to see what they're doing and we have to take it to the courts of judgment where I showed you. And so we're presenting your case as we do this video, okay? So now we're going to go to the first article uh, where there's a lot of libel because these are published documents. You guys bear with me because I am so tired, but it's like a good tired. I have been working so hard. The most I have me on double time. So I'm very tired. So if I stumble around, my eubonics get really bad. Just bear with me. Okay, so now we're going to take this article from the Indy Star. And this is about the incidents that happened at your school. Several young kids escaped injury after woman targets what she thought was a Israel school. The building, however, is associated with radical Hebrew Israelites, a group the Southern Poverty Law Center has designated has designated as a hate group. Noting its ideology has become increasingly anti-Semitic, anti-white, anti-LGBTQ, xenophobic, and misogynistic since 1960. Now, I don't know when you established your school there, if it was established during the uh, civil rights movement or not. I would like to know that, though. Yeah, but they used a lot of very hateful language. And uh, what we call hateful language here, what we have call hate speech here, is any language that will cause others to hate you. Okay. And all that anti-Semitism, anti-white, anti-LGBTQ, xenophobic, and misogynistic. All of those are to make all of those groups of people hate you. 
and also they designated you as a hate group now who they designated you to is the fbi cia homeland security and the state department okay <clears throat> so yeah the southern poverty law center now how many of y'all thought that that was this is what i thought it was just for i heard of it before but i didn't know much about it i thought that the southern poverty law center was like uh this institution a uh, charitable legal institution that would help our melanated brothers and sisters that live in poverty in the South, I thought that that's what that organization was all about. But it's not. It was founded by the Synagogue of Satan. Okay, and I'm going to show you all of these pieces of the puzzle. So when I went to their website, of course, this was the first thing that pops up, which is a great sign that this is, uh, them, the synagogue of Satan, they're always begging for money, even though they are very wealthy. Yeah, and here we have a little, look like a little poor black child in the background. And it's all a trick. Now let's look and see what they do with the money. At least what they say they do with the money. With your support, we're fighting for justice and equality in courts and combating white supremacists who are emboldened and energized. And we're helping teachers across the country create inclusive school communities where children are respected, valued, and welcome participants. The SPLC is a catalyst for racial justice in the South and beyond, working in partnership with communities to dismantle white supremacy, strengthen intersectional movements, and advance the human rights of all people. They are the devil's children. They're liars and the truth is not in them. They're very, very tricky. And so if they were what they said that they were, they would not have attacked a school, a poor school. And I'm sorry, I don't mean no insult. I'm, I see you keep your facility very clean and nice. But you had to buy an old house in order to have a place to educate your children and to educate the adults. And you were victimized in a very poor school. You are sovereign citizens, Hebrew Israelites, melanated. And if these bastards meant what they said, when they said what they do with the money, they would have not taken the opportunity to slander you in front of the world while all of this is going on but they did let me tell you why they did that because you your school was a double whammy honey <laughs> not only are you hebrew israelites but you're sovereign citizens too and their asses got so anxious until they jumped right on it and so we, one of our prayers that we said in the courts of the Most High is that even in their lies, make them tell the truth. And that's exactly what they did. They confessed to their slander and their libel, which is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. I'll get to that in a minute, okay? Introducing one of the founders of the Southern Poverty Law Center, Joseph J. Levine Jr. I told y'all, they're the ones 
had set up this organization in 1971. And his job, his job, is to keep all of us Hebrew Israelites chained to their civil system. And you guys broke out and they hate y'all asses. And they proved it with that language. The SPLC was founded in 1971 to ensure that the promise of the civil rights movement became a reality for all. And we do know that the civil rights movement was a big ass trick. That's exactly what it was. It was to keep us bound to their laws. And we see where these devils are creating all kind of unjust laws. And so it was the SPLC's job to make it a reality and keep us all chained to it. By the late 1960s, the civil rights movement had ushered in the promise of racial equality as new federal laws and decisions by the U.S. Supreme Court ended Jim Crow segregation. But the resistance was strong and these laws had not yet been fundamental changes needed in the South. African Americans were still excluded from good jobs, decent housing, public office, a quality education, and a range of other opportunities. And we're still in the same situation, the majority of us down in the South. Yeah, so this, this is a big front for something else. The SPLC is a setup for something totally different. We'll make the connections in a moment. Black anti-Semitic incidents. We help train law enforcement so they understand what hate crimes are and how to protect you. And we monitor the extremists. So I got a team of analysts who 24 seven are tracking right wing extremists, white nationalists, armed militia groups, uh, hardcore anti-Zionists, radical eco-fascists, all these kinds of extremists. So last year we gave over 1300 tips again, like making sure that white supremacists and other kind of sovereign citizens and radicals they're kind of sovereign citizens and radicals. They're kind of sovereign citizens and radicals. Don't commit acts of violence. Mm -hmm. So number one, we track incidents and I'll come back to the incidents. Mm -hmm. Number two, we advocate. Mm -hmm. So the short term, it's protecting the community. The medium term, it's about improving the climate. And we lobby in Washington. We lobby in state capitals. We litigate. Right now, we're trying to bankrupt the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers. And we speak out in the court of public opinion, too. And that's exactly what he did with that slander coming out of the Southern Poverty Law Center. This is Jonathan Greenblatt. And he's a key player in what's happening in this war. And we have been battling in the courts of the Most High against this member of the synagogue of Satan. And yes, I boldly call them that because the Most High calls them that. They watch me. They've shadow banned my channel. I'm not trying to go for numbers. I know what my mission is. And that's to speak to Starseed to go battle against them. And also, I am to speak to those agencies that are watching in. They're, they're spying in on me. Yeah, it all started with them trying to... Uh, trap us all with that anti-semitism slander of a lie yeah so he is the one that uh, contacted all those news stations calling you a hate group because he said it he's on the court of public opinion and so he put it out there on the court of the world's opinion of you that you're a hate group and he has all of those other groups looking at you like an enemy, and that is hate speech. So the ADL is a uh, 
Anti-Defamation League. They are the champions of defamation. They're the champions of defamation. They slander people. They blacklist people. They sick the federal government on people. And their tentacles reach far and wide. And the Southern Poverty Law Center, the founder that's still there as an emeritus, yeah, he's still there running things. Yeah, I bet he's a member of the ADL. They use the same language. Okay, so now this article is from the ADL where they published. So this is libel. Uh, this language. Okay, so it says, facing charges, some goyim. <laughs> Defense League extremists embrace sovereign citizen tactics. Okay, and then they talk about y'all. Okay, so let's read this article. As they rape, as they rack up littering, is that littering charges? Oh, as they rack up littering charges for distrib distributing propaganda. Now they're the champions of propaganda. They just got busted out. Some individuals associated with the anti-Semitic and extremist Goyan Defense League. <laughs> is there a Goyan Defense League? Let me look it up. Hold on. Now, this is funny as hell, okay? <laughs> okay. Goyan Defense League. The Goyim Defense League is an anti-Semitic hate group. It's a conspiracy theory network of individuals who are active on social media websites and operate an online video platform called Goyim TV. <laughs> the GDL also perform banner drops, papering na neighborhoods, <laughs> With flyers and other stunts to harass Jews. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought they were calling them Goyams. <laughs> so it's some people out there that know that they call uh, people Goyam. In other words, everybody but them are just animals like Nate and Yahoo called Hamas animals the other day. The anti-Semitic and extremist Goyim Defense League, including leader John Manadale, have adopted pseudo-legal sovereign citizen tactics in a misguided attempt to escape legal troubles. Now here's where they're talking about you all. The sovereign citizen movement is a far-right, anti-government, extremist faction whose adherent claim that the government is illegitimate and has no jurisdiction or authority over them. Sovereigns claim that people can divorce themselves from this illegitimate government. The movement is known for its paper terrorism okay now this is this was legendary when i saw that they labeled you as <laughs> paper terrorist you use paper terrorism that was interpreted to me that you guys are so fucking powerful in these 3d courts with your wit and your gifts to screw them with their own laws. It was, I just have to applaud you. Congratulations. That's why I had to take you to the courts of the most high. You guys have been doing battle in the 3D. Yeah. Now you know how to go to the 5D with it and then come back to the 3D. Ooh, y'all gonna get paid. Okay, so they call, They said, you know, for paper terrorism, harassment, and intimidation, 
tactics, scams, and fraud, as well as acts of deadly violence. So you see how dangerous this is. They used all kind of dangerous language that made you a target. Now, what happened in the incident? The young lady that rammed her car into uh, your your building, she thought that you were Jewish, the white Jew, the kind of Jew. And so she missed her target, but you guys have a big target on you. But it's going to backfire on them. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm I'm just giving you evidence and we're taking evidence to the courts of, of the Most High about what they're doing. They're trying to steal our promised rulership. It ain't going to happen. That's why the Most High have us doing these things. Okay. So let's go to the next. Okay. Star Siege United. I keep posting this little video right here. Because in this video, talking about when Doug Imhoff, Kamala Harris's husband, went to the White House after Hebrews to Negroes was published, that was a big threat. Because they couldn't take it down and that was a wave of awakening for us. So with all their efforts and being the 13 families and all their money, they couldn't make Amazon take it down. And them trying to punish Hebrews to Negroes backfired and it pissed them off. And so that's when they went to empower this word, word anti-Semitism for the great war that we're in. We have discussed all the stuff going on with Kanye West and all this garbage that we're seeing on Twitter now that they're not, you know, enforcing some of the guidelines that they had before. It, it's not looking good. Can we start with today's roundtable? Who will be there and what do they hope to accomplish? So first gentleman, second gentleman, uh, Doug Emhoff, he will have 13 Jewish groups, as well as some White House officials, including domestic policy advisor Susan Rice and former Georgia mayor uh, Keisha Lance Bottoms. And, you know, the topic will be how can we combat anti-Semitism? And it's something they've discussed uh previously in private. I was told last week there was a meeting between White House officials and some Democratic members of Congress. And we, you know. So we see who all was there. Kamala Harris's husband, the ADL, the 13 families, which they call 13 Jewish groups. We had the Congress there. Now this is all before the roundtable meeting even happened. And so now she's going to tell us what they came for. It's anti-Semitism, but all of the hate speech, which is becoming more commonplace. Yes, I mean, you're absolutely right. I spoke to a few of these Jewish groups that will be there today. And what they're asking for, and they've said they've been asking for for a long time, the difference is this week they're backed by 125 members of Congress from both chambers and both parties uh, who are calling for a whole of government approach. And what that means is that, you know, to combat this phenomenon here, they are asking DOJ, DHS, the State Department, FBI, all to sort of be really coordinated and data sharing, sharing best practices and, you know, further uh, cooperation and collaboration. So that is why we go to the courts of the Most High. Now I have to tell you one more magical thing that we have been blessed with on this holy mission of warfare. Our Holy Mother, she made an appearance on this earth. This is a Holy Spirit, also known as the Ruach HaKadosh, Mary Hala, in the sealed portion, and that's how I know that that's her. Okay, so in the beginning of our mission, 
starting with this word anti-Semitism eight months ago. She told us that we were supposed to go to that most holy place that she led me to discover. She told me it was the courts of the Most High and we needed to fight there. We needed to go and tell our father what these demon bastards are doing to us. We needed to go tell him and ask him for judgment and justice. And we have been very successful. The Most High has reacted to us going to this most holy place. And today we're going to go on all on the behalf of all of our sovereign citizens and those of us who desire to be sovereign citizens and to all of our Hebrew Israelites, brothers and sisters out there on our behalf because this slander was against us. And we do have friends and allies of the other nations. We always have had them. Yeah. So... We thank them for the, their support as well the, because they come to these most holy courts. Now, how we do this thing is we join our energy together. So I know that I have a throne of judgment. That's why I have been given this most beautiful assignment. So while I'm speaking to the most high star seed united, which come through the Hebrew Israelite bloodline. That's what we call Star Seed United, okay? Um, we put our energy together in these courts. So I'm going to be praying. And at the same time, all of the judges will write their comments in the comment section. Or if they do not care to write a comment, they speak to the Most High because... He's bowing the heavens to listen to all of us. Okay. Now he's already heard me while I'm doing this video, while I'm speaking. Now the Most High has already bowed the heavens. And he has heard all the evidence. He heard what I'm saying before it even goes into the ethers. But how we're pulling it off is our combined energy with which our Holy Mother told us. That our energy had been purified. So with our words and our purified energy, the Most High is accepting to that and he is reacting. We have been very successful. So now let's go on over to the courts of the Most High. If you resonate with this message, join in the fight by hitting that like button. That is energy. Okay, I'm not trying to build this station. I'm just trying to show you ways that you can participate and include your energy into it and that's one way putting your comments in is another way saying what you have to say to the most high while i'm doing this video or after this video is putting your energy in the fight so if you resonate join in okay you guys i'm gonna have to uh, stop right here for just a moment I'm coming right immediately back but I'm quite exhausted and I want to be refreshed when we go into the courts of the most high so I'll see you when I get up Shalom Shalom family yeah may you have the best day of your life abracadabra so we're back at the courts of the most high and father we thank you so much for bowing the heavens and giving us your ear and responding to us. And today we're coming again for judgment and justice, Father. Judgment and justice. Father, you know we've been in this identity crisis for a very long time. We didn't even know who we were. And other people forgot who we were. Yeah, and, and Father, we thank you. We thank you for snatching the blessing away from them. The blessing of people giving them money and blessing them and feeling sorry for them for the Holocaust. Thank you for snatching that blessing 
from them, from where people had respect for the Hebrew Israelites, the 12 tribes, Jacob, the 12 tribes, your children, your starseed children. They were so good with their their tricks, Father. I'm telling you, Father, these people still think that they are Jewish. <laughs> are Jews in any kind of way. White Jews. <laughs> yes, Father, they're slanders. You know we've been bringing Jonathan Greenblatt to your courts on many occasions. That president of the nation of the ADL, which tentacles reach all the way to the White House, the UN, and European countries. And again, again, we bring him because he's a slanderer. And there's another one. There's another one we're not going to forget about. Joseph J. Levine. Junior of the Southern Poverty Law Center. These two slanderers got busy, Father. They couldn't help it. Thank you, Father, for making them tell the truth even in their lies. <laughs> you have answered so many of our prayers, Father, exactly the way that we've asked you to. I know this, this one right here, Father, I see it. I see it where uh, we're going to come out of that identity crisis. Abracadabra. Thank you, Father. I can see all of that coming out of this. Now, for those two slanders right there, Father, I'm praying for my enemy. That all of that excrement, that shit that comes out of their mouth, return back to them in disease. I asked for stinky, stinky disease like what's coming out of their mouth father let it be so disgusting that they can't speak to anyone let the stink fill the rooms wherever they are the stink of the crap that's coming out of their mouth father those two that made our brothers and our sisters and our children's targets of the FBI, CIA, and Homeland Security and the State Department, Father. I am so sick and tired of the serpent seed and their shenanigans, Father, and I know you are too. I can feel it. Father, you said you know our poverty. You know our poverty in this 3D dimension. And you said we're rich. And Father, thank you for showing the, uh, us the treasures that we actually do have. And Star Seed United, my brothers and sisters, we are very rich. I mean, materially wise. Okay. You said we're rich, Father. And you also said you know the slander. In the book of Revelation, you said, I know the slander of them that say they are Jews and are not but to lie and are of the synagogue of Satan. You know exactly who they are. Yes, Father, we ask you to get that kingpin because he targeted a school with our children, Father, in innocence. That have broken the chains of bondage from that tricky little wicked evil plot of civil rights. They broke away, Father. I'm so I'm so proud of my sovereign citizens out there, Father. Yes. Oh, I know it was tedious to break away. And I know it took some determination. Bless them, Father. Make the synagogue of Satan pay them for this one. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Ooh, we. Yes. Give them hundreds of millions 
from the ADL and the Southern Poverty Law Center that have slandered them in the most dangerous 3D way. Thank you, Father, for covering them and not letting anyone get hurt. Ooh, we already know you got angels all around them, Father. They're already protected. Well, you know, at this point, Father, I know all of us are protected and everyone that we love. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Father. Yes, we ask that you shut their mouths in the most magical way with stinkiness. Abracadabra. Yes, and let them continue. Let them continue to tell the truth through their lies. Hallelujah. Yes, Father. (laughs) You know I love you, Father. Oh, my goodness. Father, I ask that you allow these geniuses, our sovereign citizens, (laughs) access to your holy throne. I ask that you bow the heavens and give them ear. And to all of them that are judges and resonate, Father, I ask you to put them on their throne set for the house of David. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, I'm feeling this. Oh, we, you guys, just look for it in the news. And Father, since they targeted a school that belonged to your star seed, innocent men, women, And children of good character, of good character, Father. And they targeted them, target for target, Father, abracadabra, any of the participants in this slander, any of the participants that put any energy into this movement against us, Father, target for target. Let the energy of the world morph on them, Father, abracadabra, because they're trying to make a move in on us. So we conquer them in this holy courts, because I know you're going to react to this one, Father. I know you're going to give us our identity back. The world will know, you said in Revelation 3, 9. Oh, let me read it. You said. In the book of Revelation, again, Father, in the times of this great reset, you are telling us now, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Father, I feel that. I feel that coming, Father. I feel it coming. The world is going to know that you love us, and that will be the proudest day of our lives. Abracadabra. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother, for your guidance. Wow, Yasharala, to our big brother. We pledge our allegiance to your kingdom, the Messiah, the king and God of this earth. Yes. Oh, I'll be so glad when y'all get off the pause because they deserve every judgment that they will receive. Okay, you guys, that's what I have for you today. Blessings, and I salute you all my sovereign citizens out there and all my starseed worldwide. And to all of our friends and allies who love and respect the Hebrew Israelites, many blessings. Those that bless Israel shall be blessed. Those that curse Israel shall be cursed. Abracadabra! Yes, if you're new to my station and you resonate, don't forget to uh, subscribe, you know, and join in this fight. Father has had me on overdrive. Yeah, they took down some of my videos, honey. It didn't do anything but make me angry. Just like what they did in this day of Judgment News. It made me angry. In our words, with our purified energy, going before our Father 
It's bringing them judgment. Yes. So they really don't want to make us too angry. Yeah, because when that happens, this world will <laughs> do just like the Most High said. They will do just like the Most High said. Bow down at our feet. Abracadabra. And know that the Most High love his true children. Blacker than black. Look at the Archangel Uriel. Look at our Messiah. Hallelujah. Okay, you guys, I'm getting all, I can start all over again because I'm refreshed now, but I'm going to end this here. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Doesn't it feel good to fight back? We are so victorious. All praises to the Most High. This is a game changer, Star CG United. Star Seed United forever. Yeah, and thank you for your support of this station and all your gifts of love. May the Most High multiply them for whatever your hearts desire. Times 100. Abracadabra. Yeah, okay, you guys. Until the next magical show, your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, Jericho out. Shalom.